Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Yeah, everybody on. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? My dad, my dad, what's going on with you? Say, man, it's 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 all good. I woke up this morning. Could have went a whole nother way. A lot of people didn't make it to see today. That's so true. So check it, man. Hey, man, it, it's something very special is happening right now in here. Something that make me feel real, real, you know. Hook to my culture, hook to my family, man. Check it, man. Check it, man. Miss Forty is in the building. What's going on? What's good? How you doing? Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, you know, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. man. I, I seen you, man. I, people be tripping when I say I seen you. The T. <laughs> I know. But I seen you. I seen you. I seen you when you. I actually seen you when you was on that little cipher. And uh, I didn't know who you was at the time, to be honest with you. Um, I, I just always watch what's going on with the music. I've been watching music ever since I was a kid. So I always been one that was infatuated with, with, with the entertainment business. I actually wanted to sing. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. I was going to sing one time. And you can sing. I don't, so I don't know money. why you I, that wasn't, did it. No, 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 no. That wasn't going to get my money to me fast enough. Yeah. I got to get that bread. You know what I'm saying? To keep the family fed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I, I get it, but at the end of the day, I think God don't make mistakes. That's true. See, if it was for me, it would already have came to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what was for me, I, I, you know, the things that I needed to have, it came to me. God was good. God made it made sure that I got everything that I was entitled to. But, hey, man, so being from Marshall, man, and being in the industry as far as entertainment, how hard is it to get seen? It's hard. Like, um. When I do, I do, I ain't gonna lie, like, every weekend before the COVID Yo. started, I had the club jumping, like, it was this club called Club Imperial, and I'm on the fly every weekend, every weekend is going down, you know, I perform a song or two just to give them a little sample, if they fool with me, they gonna come out and rock with me, you know. But it's really hard to be seen. Like, I, I do shows in Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, but when I was up here in Dallas, I was doing shows a lot. Um, and that's with a lot of, most of the main artists, you know. And I hosted some shows up here, so. It's a main artist, like, um, drop a few names. Tell us who you did some work with. Um, Like, I work with... DJ Michael Watts. Um, Shout out Michael Watts. What's up, baby? On the Creme de la Creme Part 1 um, mixtape. Um, my single, Nobody, is chopped and screwed by the one and only. Really? Michael yes, Watts? Yes, yes. He went in on it? Yes. He always do. Yes. And we perf we had a live showcase where, um, you know, and he shouted me out. He gave me his personal email. So, you know, we kind of. That's a good thing. You know, it's good to link with Texas, right? Mm -hmm. I work with Little Flip. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Little Flip. I did the reincarnation tour for Pimp C's family. Okay. Um, when I say his family, I mean his his Mama. Chi his children, his his dad, his his um, I want to say his baby mom, like you know, family who was trying to keep his name alive, so they wanted to do a tour, but it was also. Sponsored and you know promoted by some actual promoters that hit me up and asked me to do it. How was that experience? Oh, it was wonderful. Like to, I don't know. It almost felt like it was family when I met them because they were all there. That's, That's what's good. up. Like That's what's especially up. the dad, it was crazy. So, how did you how did you start in the music? What made you get into music? What made you feel like I I, I can rap or I can do music? I'm an entertainer. What was that all about? How did you figure that out? Being that ain't no damn body in your family really just rapping like that, is it? Well, um, my yeah. my dad. And oh, my your dad uncle, think he can rap? I never seen that nigga rap. Who shout out to Smith? No, but okay, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, yeah. I I got. And when I say it, I, I, we've been following each other on Facebook <laughs> for years. So if I the nigga was rapping, I would have seen the nigga rap. I'm saying like he don't take it serious. Okay, like, okay. On his mix, you know my daddy a hustler. Okay. When he go sell his mixtapes, he gonna put his little music on there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the, yeah, yeah. With the mix fly. of the other That's fly. Mix. That's fly. I like it. So 
but like when I say I go in, like me and him, we nothing alike with the rap. Like, yeah, I'm, no, no. God bless you with a gift. He might have just been the one to just pretty much show it to you and introduce and honestly, you to it. Honestly, like when I say he loves music, like I love music. Like he got me on so much. Like I love H Town music already. Chopped and screwed yeah. music, all of it. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. I, I I just you know, um, coming from home, you know, coming from East Texas. And, and, and shout out to all them people in East Texas. They've been pushing. I mean, you got people like Sergeant J and Sergeant B that come from shout down there. Smitty Hawkins, uh, all them different people like, uh, what's that boy coming tomorrow? Seco P or something like that. I mm, mm. Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. So, oh, look. you know, it's, it's it's a few people that's coming through. <laughs> well, you and, seem and, like you and, got a story to tell. Nah, because I like his song that he yeah. he's pushing right now. Yeah, that's my yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, he'll be on here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with the nigga. You know, I don't really know him. Somebody turned me on to him. Anything that's happening in East Texas is happening to me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I really like what's going on with the vibe down there from Tyler all the way back over to Texas County, back over to Jacksonville, even Nacogdoches, all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. All the way down to the state line, baby. We can get in Louisiana, too. I had that boy uh, Jeff Pullum on here from uh, Takeover TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you tapped in with that nigga? Um, no, I've never. Oh, that nigga need to give you an interview. This is my first podcast. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to get at him. I'm going to get at him. I'm going to get at him. I'm going to holler at him, man. Shout out to that boy, Jeff, man. And also, Trill Talk, no pill talk. And I know y'all linked up. But at the end of the day, it's a a thing where, you know, you have to, your your confidence, your gift will make room for you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It'll open doors for you. And so that's 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 important. You you got to know that you know that you know. Right. Period. And that's that's how it, that's how it happened. Now I, I think I think uh your your skill set from what you sent me to the music, I really was into it, you know what I'm saying? Uh my favorite one was the one that 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 go like this right here. That one right there. Happy. Happy. <laughs> you know I like I I love that song. I I I listened to the other ones. I was like, okay, but this is my one right here. Like, I can keep playing it over and over again. I like it. Hey, hold up. Real quick, let me pop my shit. I ain't worried about a nigga or a bitch. I ain't think I'm worried about it really getting rich. Streets turn me up, turn me into a savage. Yeah. You're tired of me because I'm one of the yeah. best. I'm not like the average. That's the way it go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this this Boss Talk 101. Yeah. I can promise you it's going to go down. I ain't playing no games when it comes down to this music. I love music and you know how I am about mm-hmm. it. So, so where did the name Miss 40 come from? Um, <laughs> it actually came from my dad's little brother, my uncle. That's who I started recording with. Um, like he was asking, how did the music come about? Um, I just really, really like music, and I used to go with my dad's side of the family, and you know they exposed me to the music. We listened to my daddy. He, I used to go d- with him when he DJ his events. You know, I try to help him out and stuff. But then when he would come back up here, my uncle's down there. So mm-hmm. I'm like, Mama, I want to, I think I, I want to try to write a song. Because it was this song, like, that was hot, and I was really feeling the beat. So I wrote a song to it. And I told Mama, like, will you drop me off over Unc House? Right, so right. So I can, you know. And it's been history ever since. Like, when he wow. heard the song, my uncle's like, oh, nah, you're not finna stop. Already, wow. man. Shout out to that uncle. So What's he's his been name? a support system. His name is um Lionel Willa. It's it's my Annie Pearl's baby boy. I mean my okay. gr- my granny Pearl's baby boy. Really? And I, yeah. I you know, he was too young for me. I had done left. How old is he? He's a little older now though. Um I wanna Unc in his forties. Yeah, so he, you know, I left early. You know, I was in the street, so I, I know yeah. I, I I was I was moving around. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but definitely shout out to him. Thank him for, for sending you to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that's where one day to be. I hope you get to meet him. You know he on lockdown. Free him. Oh man, I write him. Give me his address. That's I, what I do. That's my ministry. I write everybody that been through something because I've been through something. When you don't, oh, when you don't, when you don't face a life sentence and you don't deal with this thing, you really a stomp down dude. Mm-hmm. You don't, do I write him, baby? Yes, you do. Yeah. He really the one no, who told him. me that we were family when the store was in Marshall yeah. because I was recording with him every day. He was like, you know, our cousin. He just whooped the woo. He got a store down here. We need to go try to meet him because you ain't yeah, never met him yeah, before. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I did that in 2012. I did that in 2012. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you know that's the that's the thing you have to realize is when cer- certain things have their time and they season and they go and they and they just evolve. And right. so so as you evolve, you have to evolve with 
terms of situations mm-hmm. and times. Mm-hmm. So you can't get caught up in looking back. The Bible says no man look back without running into something. So you got to be careful when you when you start looking back at different things that used to be. So so it's okay to look look forward because you already did that already. Right. So now you can make new new things happen in in people lives around you and family members and everybody else. But you can't be afraid to walk in the new territory and deal with new people because right. that's how you grow. You got to evolve by pushing yourself by stretch stretching basically putting yourself in situations where it makes you uncomfortable, right. and that's how that's how you win. If you just stay around people that make 20% less than you and 20% more than you, you'll never have anything. So you got to make sure that you get around people that make way, way more than you. Mm-hmm. How do you do that, Elvis? Well, you got to go to restaurants where people basically eat where you can't afford it and just sit there. God will bless you, but you got to be willing to jump. Right. Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> you, you, you definitely spin that real. <laughs> no, that's just the way it go down, man. So, so I love your music. You know what I'm saying? I love what you're doing, you know, far as... Uh, the whole look of everything. Uh, the thing I can say is more content. Right. Like, like I said offline, you know, more content. More right. content because it's content over create. That means it don't matter how, don't get too romantic with it and be trying to set it up to where it's basically what everybody going to think and all that. No work. And your work going to make you better and better as you grow on social media platforms, on uh, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Likey, on what's that other one where they come in and, and, they, and it's a little thing where you have to be invited in. What is that miss? I don't remember the name. Well, they out, <laughs> Mike Jones and all of them were talking about it when they was here. But at the end of the day, uh, yeah, that you got to do that. You got to basically get on every social media platform. You got to push yourself. It don't matter where you at. You just have to work. And if you're not working, it's going to show because the masses is working. Right. And so that's do the you write game. your own music? Oh, yes, I write my own music. Oh, ain't nobody writing for you? No. That's real lame, right? You know? No. <laughs> so where do you get inspiration for your songs? Um, Honestly, everything. Like, if I'm upset, I write a song. If I'm sad, I write a song. You know, the more you mature, the older you get, you can't just lash out and do what you would do when you were younger. You right. got to, like, find some other kind of Another avenue. outlet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now, you know, hey, my girl's coming through freestyling. I got two coming tomorrow. I got one today. Look at and, her. She and, looking like the and, hands. At the end of the day, that's what we do here, you know, as far as for the females. I make sure that they, you know, they get their shine when they're here. So I'm going to come sure. at you, you know. Um, and, and, yeah, yeah, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? And the thing I can say is, you know, um, We've been doing this now for three months straight mm-hmm. hardcore. I had the three equipment. Months? Yeah, yeah, I had the equipment. Damn. I had the equipment a year ago. I just shut oh. it down for COVID. And then I started back in January and I said, you know, because when I turn up, I turn up. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in these niggas' faces and get in their ears and everything. I'm, I'm going to call the nigga that you wouldn't call. I just told you how I stretch. I don't care who you are. You could be Obama. Right. You could be uh, whoever. Kamala <laughs> Harris. I don't give a, I don't care. Like, right. I get at you. You know what I'm saying? So That way. Yeah, yeah. That's the way you got to be. When You can't let nobody be, you know. First of all, you got to put yourself in a situation where you feel like you you all that and then some. God say you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He says you're a queen or a king. He says you're a peculiar people, a chosen generation, right? Why we don't act like it? Why we be acting like we not? We got to step into our kingdomship right. and be that God that we know that we are. And that's the way it got to go. And ain't nobody going to look boy at me. Hey, godly. <laughs> and not only that, like in your up and down days when you feel like things not going your way, you feel like, you know, do I, am I supposed to be in this profession? Am I supposed to be doing something else? And you get discouraged. Mm-hmm. As long as you know that the talent that you have is, is given to you by God, you should never let anyone else discourage you because you know that you're not doing this for anybody else. You're doing this to glorify him. Right. That's you know up. what I mean? So don't let people discourage you. And a lot of times I say people, but that people or person can also be yourself because we discourage our own self more than anything, anybody else. You right about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle definitely starts in the mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it starts right here. Like, that's where it starts. It's all about what's there. That's what makes the difference. So, Flip it. Encourage yourself. Exactly. And and so the song, what what what... That that popped my shit. What what made you uh, write that? And you know what what made you come up with that whole concept? Um, I kind of wanted to do a club banger. Um, I opened what well, I was supposed to be an opening note for Little Kiki March twenty third, and okay. we did the event, but unfortunately, um, 
you know, he didn't show up. Okay. You know, but shout out to Monique because she did her thing. You know, she tried to bring somebody out for the city. Okay. You know. Okay. But it just, things didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of that girl named Trey be bringing over here, the one that that be trying to come and talk to me about business. I don't know her name. Know. Her name Money Mo? Is that... No, nah, I don't know. She uh, she she uh she be do- throwing little parties and stuff in the country. Used to, I do know Isha that. Ray? That's her. Mm-hmm. She been over here. For Shout years. out to Isha Ray. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hadn't really. I, I I got to talk to her a couple of times, man. Just look look at her her push for for the for the culture. She's and, and when I see she's that, some serious. Yeah, when I see that, I, I mean, I like it. I like the fact that she she pushed for the for the for, for the whole. Movement for blacks, period. And shout out to you, Sheree. And she been doing it. I'm 28. She been doing it since I was like 18, 16. Yeah. Like, for real. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. So, let me ask you this. Uh, as far as, is it Sativa? Mm-hmm. What's that? What, what's up with that song? I mean, you you, you, you shouted out something about Pimp C or UGK <laughs> on that thing. So, that, that, that caught my ear real good. Yeah, I told you I love like that's what I grew up on. Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing I say is, man, you gotta, you gotta, you 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 gotta keep making them bangers. Like I said, it's supposed to be a whole. I supposed to get about ten, fifteen songs every time you doing. So you gotta keep working. Right. And I, it takes time too, though. Did you get the um more like R and B song that I sent you? Probably. I listened to all of them today when when I was walking. I it's do. It's called I, Thug Love. I, yeah, I listened to that one too. You like that one? Yeah, that's mine. That's your one you love. like. A That's, lot. Is that your favorite out of all of them? Um, w- one of them. One yeah, of pop my shit, mine. I ain't gonna yeah, tell that, you. Yeah, it's pop my shit. I did that for the club because, like, you know, walking this bitch here, you see me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know? yeah definitely. That's yeah. what's up. You got You definitely got to gotta have a club banger. You got to have all all the genres. Because when you walk in the club, you feeling like a superstar. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah, your yeah. best outfit yeah. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You looking all cute. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 just being being in the country, you know what I'm saying? Being from East Texas, man. You know, do you I mean Oh, they call me extra. Really? What do you why why? <laughs> Cuz I just you know, little stuff like you do, they be like why thing. you dressed up today? Cuz you you doing your thing. You doing your thing. Ain't nothing wrong with doing your thing, man. I I love your spirit as far as the music. The, I think you express yourself more in the music too. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the the real you, you get to express the real you when you come at it like you right. do. You know, and I think that's hot, man. So what Thank you got you. for? I asked some of them questions we asked them deep digging down questions that we ask. No, I um <laughs> I've been wanting to ask you cuz you mentioned your mom and your dad. Mm-hmm. And um but it didn't seem like they were together. Mm-hmm. Were they together? No. No, um, my mom, um, she came with Trill Talk, No Pill Talk. I'm talking about when you were younger. Oh, Have, no, um, unfortunately, they've never. So your mom raised you? Yeah. Okay, so. And my dad, he was in he was still in when your he life. was in, like, he, I don't know if he, like, cousin or not. Like, he not trying to come back to the country. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, so I, he was I, in Dallas. So. Yeah, he was in Dallas. He used to come back and forth, but. He just slacked up on it. I no. mean, he had his reasons, and I understand, but, you know, you still got to. Yeah, right. It's home. It's right. home. It's home. That's why I show much love to it. I right. got. I, I definitely come home. I definitely got to be there. I can't... Uh, I can't uh, not go. I have to. I have that's, to go. That's what I'm but saying. But then like, I don't. I don't. I don't go in there trying to figure it all out again either. I, yeah. It's a different way. I'm, I'm evolved now. So when I go, I understand that when I'm, what I'm going for. Just go relax and right? visit your people. Or, well, I, don't even, you know? I ain't gonna say that I be visiting my people. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. It ain't like that for me. I think it's more of me. They can meet me where I'm at. But mm-hmm. I, just far as me, that's home, and I'm trying to relax and I'm trying to get peace. Right, and, and so my roots is there. So when I come home, I'm not coming home to go and look for nobody and all that. If I see you, I see you. Right, when I'm at right. home, I'm enjoying myself from being there. I may go look at the Caddo Lake, hell. Right. I may go look at the old baseball field where we used to play baseball in Smithland and Lodi. Right. Yeah, I may, yeah, I might do. I might go down to the old. Home, you know how I am to the old home place and or look. Smithland. Yeah, I'm old. You know what I'm saying? So I don't play around with it. You ain't got time to waste. Yeah. So when you run around trying to look for people and say, hey, man, listen, I don't do all that. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. If I see you, if you need me, hit me up. That's the way I am. But I don't try to go back and be that person I used to be. Because right. at the end of the day, you ain't going to respect me where I'm at a lot of times. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Because you're going to try to create that old me, and that old me is gone. gone. I can't go back. 
You got to realize I that. I really do understand you on that. Yeah, like, I can't go back. Because I was a high head. That's really how I got the name is 40, like, popping out, fighting, like, and then, yeah, like, I'm a rapper about it, and I'm, what I'm rapping about is really what I'm doing. I will really hit you. So the thing I can say is we got to, we definitely, we definitely, when we, when we go back home and when we deal with home, we got to deal with it where we at now. Right. We can't deal with it where we used to be. And a lot of times people won't let you evolve because they want to keep you as the person they used to know you as. Right. And I used to be in the streets. When I was hustling, that's a different me. Now I'm hustling a legit way. And so people value that. They be like, man, you remember we used to do this? And you remember you used to have all us? And I don't be caring about that, nigga. I'm getting money now. What about this new money? I want to talk about this new money. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about that old money. That old money pretty much... Had a nigga looking crazy at, at certain times. So, you know, you evolve, man. You can't talk to a person that turned the age you are now like they 15. It ain't going to work. Right. So, you know, you got to evolve. That's all. But definitely, definitely he should visit home, I think. I, I got to shout him out and holler at him. I, he follow me on Facebook. I know he does. Yeah. Uh, I just, I, so many of mine mine's all the way locked down. Hell, I don't know who on there. A lot of times. You know, it's a lot of smiths. It's a lot, a lot of smiths, but, I, but, but I, yeah, my dad. Mom had nine boys and five girls. It's going down. Yeah, Uncle Pop, he had uh, a few, not as many as my my da- my granddaddy was uh, your granddaddy's oldest brother. Sterling. That's how that go. Papa Sterling. Sterling, yeah. Mm-hmm. Basage was his oldest brother. They both on the picture in my wall in my house. Okay. Yeah, it's going down. I don't forget my roots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just don't play the part like everybody try to, you know, it's a lot of mess that go on in different things when you start getting too involved in it. Involved in it. So you got to be careful how you how you interject yourself into things. Right. That's all. But it's cool. I mean, I'm going to hug everybody. Yeah. You need something, nigga, I'm buying dinner. What's up? You know yeah. what I'm saying? You want something to drink, nigga, I buy the drinks. I don't even drink. I don't smoke. I don't do none of that. Ain't did it in 20-something years, right, babe? Mm-hmm. So getting back into it, um, how did you feel growing up without your father being there all the time? Oh, he wasn't there all the time? Nigga wasn't there all the time? <sighs> no, go ahead. Um, it... Because most girls are like usually always want to be like daddy's yeah, little yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter like would have a story. Y'all got a twin. She 20 what? Six? 27? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she tell is. me your story. Like I don't want to bash him because I love him to pieces, but it 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 still mess with me, you know, because we got so much in common. I'm his twin, you know. I mean. He, like my daughter. Yeah, like we just. For it, I don't understand why we don't click because it should just be that perfect. because your personality is the same, yeah, probably so. That's usually yeah. people whose personalities are the same never usually click, but you have to still learn to love them through it. Mm-hmm. Um, I have still you ever- reach out to him every like every year, I reach out to him, you know, and it should be more than every year. Just I'm shoot saying, the nigga text. not just every year, I'm saying like on his birthday, on special Father's occasion. Day, yeah, stuff like that. Or even like my son said, he want, he missed his papa. So I just tried to call him up. But, you know, we didn't get an answer. So I can't. You Do you know, know where he live? In Denton. Okay, okay so you pull up, just pull up? Drive I don't up know there? exactly where now. Oh. Okay. I but, just know Denton. But then um, with, you know, the reason why I was asking all of this, because a lot of times people talk about mental health and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of times when you have... Um, situations that you've been holding on and not express yourself to the person that you know you felt some sort of way about something mm-hmm. in the past you can keep carrying that in the future and it can affect your relationships whether with men with you know people oh it does it does so it that's the reason why does. I say that, you know you definitely need to reach out to him and sit him down and say dad you know I did did feel even if he doesn't respond to you in the way you want him to, but you got it off your chest mm-hmm. because while he's here, still living, I've had so many people say, "Well, my mama is gone or my mm-hmm. daddy is gone. I can't even say I that to them anymore." I just want to find them, you know. Like his girlfriend won't even tell me where they at. <laughs> it's all good, you know what I mean. That that God is the one that pretty much predict what happens in your life, so don't right. get caught up in it too. Try to figure it out too much. Right. Whatever's meant to be is going to happen. You know what I mean? So it, yeah. it, 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 whatever's meant to be is going to happen. So don't ever get too caught up into, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Trying to figure it out, you know? Yeah. And and the thing I can say is you um you definitely uh sparked a flame in my life as far as when you hit me up, you know. Um, that's the reason why I got you up here is because 
um, I would not miss out on an opportunity to be a part of what you do as far as your artistic flow. And it, it got you here because you really deserve to be in that seat. You and I really saying? appreciate you. I really do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you deserve to be in that seat. And at the end of the day, ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta. You, but you gotta. You gotta harness that energy. Right. And you gotta keep it going. Right. But like I said, you gotta work, work, work. It's a, it's I've a been work looking thing. like I just. And it. I, I'm going. Well, I do. Well, I did the cipher with um Sergeant B. But yeah, I did the cipher with him. But I'm gonna actually book the session because it's really hard to like find. Good quality in Marshall, you know what I mean. Yeah. Good quality music or just well, stuff like that's I said, not. there's engineers out here too. So if it's anything I can do to help, just I like I said, I know a lot of people, so right. that that ain't that ain't that ain't hard to do. Right. The so, thing, the thing I can I'm say, definitely that, need some help. I, I, I definitely gonna make sure to help you. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, what is your top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Whoop whoop. Your any genre. Top three artists of all time, you dead or alive. Your top one three. through three, nigga. One two three. Oh. Ooh, don't we get that a lot? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah, you said Ooh. alive. Okay. Dead, dead, or, or, no, alive. dead or alive. Dead or alive. Okay, so anybody. Number one. Best you ever heard do it. Propane. Propane, number one is propane. I never heard. Never heard of Who propane. propane. Y'all ain't never heard of propane. Mm -hmm. I never listened to him. Hold on. Maybe that's a younger generation. Is he in East Texas? He linked he in H Town. He okay. he he like um She said she love H Town music. I, I think that he is from somewhere in East Texas. I really? don't wanna say Longview. I'm gonna and check get him out. Wrong. I'm gonna check him out. I can I can get to know him. He up there like with zero them. Okay, propane. Like, he's locked in. That's he, a, I, I like it. Propane. Propane Mo three. Mo three. Did you like Mo3 when he was alive or just when he did? <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of them that just he like him when he did. He got killed on my son's birthday and, and I that's, cried. That's when, you, that's when you started to no. like him and li listen to him? No. It's a bunch of car chases out here listening. I wanted to meet him before he passed away. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Check it out. So so what about? The third one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like Mo3 music to, too. I'm going to try to do a Mo3 female. was artistic, man. Had an artistic flow. Number three? Um, I'm gonna try to do a female. You do what you feel. What what's it's really hard. who is it? Yeah, if it's so hard, then evidently that ain't it. Then it shouldn't be hard if it's your top three. Um, top three. Come top on now. Three. I'm trying to think of my <laughs> last one. I'm sorry. Who is it, Missy Elliott? No, no, no. Damn well, it wasn't Missy. She wasn't even doing her thing when you was around, when you was older. You know, like young, maybe real young. She ain't been in on the scene like that. Who? Yeah, um, but I do like kind of have like that kind of style. I ain't gonna say like that out of yeah space style, but you know swag. Like. Yeah. But um, for the third one, I'm gonna say they gonna hate me for this, but I like Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion, shout out to Megan, man. I gotta get you on the show, bro. Hey, sky's the limit, baby. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I like Megan this day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Megan is Megan is popping, man. Megan is popping. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I like I like Megan too. Um, she from Houston, so I, I take that every day. And propane, I take that all day long. And what yeah. was that middle one? What was that middle one? What Mo, was it? Mo three. Mo, Mo three. three. All three from Texas. Hey man, it's going down, man. That girl, a Texas girl. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's what with this this platform represents Texas <laughs> in a in a major way. I mean, because we really have a major influence on the music. And right? you know this, but people try to <laughs> avoid it and, and ignore it. it. Yeah, but I don't play no games with them. <laughs> oh, I'm the one being here putting it in their face. Yeah. I know already. That's what this platform for to right. let you know, nigga. We got a voice. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that um um you know it goes down like that too. What else you got? I ain't got nothing else. I, I, we finna get to the music. Mm -hmm. You had you you gave me this uh this song and it was cool. You know how I said it, it, it what old girl tell me, I ain't going for cute. I said, okay, well nigga, you better come on with it. But it was cool. Uh, it's it's UGK. I can't deny it. So I know that's your thing. And I like it. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I picked another one. It kinda goes like the same, kinda kinda same people. I wanted to do something new. So when I when I picked mine, it was like this. Just something a little bit newer. Yeah. But the same type go, tempo. Go, go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Yeah, you done threw me out of the way. I out know it. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> but but but, but, but you should be able to ride anything. 
Yeah, I don't freestyle in with stuff. That's fine. Oh, so it's a freestyle. Yeah, what, I was freestyling to the other beat. Okay, I'm gonna throw that one back on, but I wanna, I, you know, I'd like to hear something See on both of them. You, can do you with know what I'm saying? Ones. If you got something that's already you've been working on, yeah. I wanna hear you rock with that. Okay. So we're gonna do two, but I just wanna put that on your mind. Yeah, you can put that on my mind. I definitely <laughs> wrecked that for you. Okay, because at yeah, the end of the day. You, uh, that was my first time hearing it, so bring it back to me. I liked it. I, I love it. You liked it. it. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Oh, so let her do the first yeah. one first. Let me and see then we something. go on to that one. Yeah. I just want you to think about it. I think okay. they got something for you. Yeah. I think you can kill it. I think I can fuck with it. <laughs> I just like that beat. That's just something I like. <laughs> I know that. Go. It's going down, man. Check it out, Miss Forty in the building. Yeah, bring it back. Hello. Hey. Okay. Let's see what she got. Let's go. go. Miss Forty. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, run that shit up, Chase. These people be speaking on me for the clap. You don't know me, keep my name at your mouth. You yeah. my money, then what's it about? Yeah. Little bitch, I was raising myself. Never sweating these hoes, no pressure. They be capping too much, just extra. I don't cap, cause bitch, I'm a stepper. Get drove in this hoe like a Tesla. Uh. These people be speaking on yeah. me for the clap. You don't know me, keep your name at your mouth. You ain't my money, then what's it about? Bad little bitch, I was raising myself. Never sweating these hoes, no pressure. They be capping too much, just extra. I don't cap, cause bitch, I'm a stepper. Get drove in the hoe like a Tesla. Hey, walking this hoe, you see me? Hey. Ay, eyes on me like motherfucking TV. Uh. Ay, ay, big up, bossed up like a flat screen. Ay, ay, chill down, don't relax me. Ay, smoking good gas, I got the pay, I got the gas, I got the, uh, I got the set. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, check it, man. Check it, that's my, see, I know now. I know what's gonna bring it. You know what I'm saying? I, love, I already yeah. know what's gonna bring it. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta, hey man, you gotta be in the zone in this yeah. thing, man. I, I really, really like that, man, to be honest with you. I, I just know, I, I know what I'm, I, I just understand music, man. And you do too, man. The way you was riding that beat is, is magnificent, bro. Magnificent. A lot of people, hey, many have tried and fell off and everything else, man, but you got it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's up? So, so what's next for you, though? Um, we're working on a second cipher. Okay. Um, so, so what you you second on that one? Are you gonna be third on that one? Are you last B. on it? We gonna let Sergeant B do the. Oh, um, Sergeant B get the organizer this yeah. time. Shout he, out Sergeant he B. He actually chose the order last time. Really? Yeah. That's what's up, man. I mean, you guys do do a wonderful job, man. Just just I love the unity. I love the way you guys stick together. You know what I'm saying? That oneness, that's real. No matter, you know, a lot of females hate on each other. And for y'all to be able to come together like that and do something for the for the culture, for, for East Texas, man, that's big. Yeah. So, you know, you just don't see a lot of people doing it and formulating it the way you guys are doing it, man. Shout out to Smitty Hawkins. Shout out to this girl, Journey. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm looking for her. I, I've been looking for her. Like, I, I, I really like her. You I might like, have to contact Mama Scott. No, no, no. I, I just like her music. I, I feel like she 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 seemed like she got some. You know, all y'all doing your thing. So I could go on and on. All those girls are doing a good job and seem like you guys are are, are not new to the to the. You know, to to, to entertainment, mm -hmm. to music. You can tell that you guys been in that studio. Y'all been practicing what y'all craft is. Right. So I like that, man. So what makes you different from them other girls? Um, <laughs> I would say just the bars. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm really different. not no freestyler. Like, you know, but like. I'm going to just have to let you hear some other stuff, too. No, 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 no. I, I definitely love what you're doing. Like I said, it ain't no... no I hadn't, uh, I really haven't uh, just uh, uh, seen uh, a movement like what's going on down there now. So I'm real, real uh, t toned in to what you guys are doing. And this platform here going to put eyesight on that as well as in Dallas, too. That's mm -hmm. why you see uh, uh, Half Pint on here, Mr. Runny, uh, Don Chief, and then you see uh, Sergeant B, Sergeant J, and you see DJ Juice, and you see me 
tapping in with all those guys, Trill Talk, mm-hmm. No Peel Talk, because this is the thing where I'm formulating it because that's that's what I, way I see it. I feel mm-hmm. like the whole thing need to be brought together a little bit better than what it's been being done. Definitely. So I'm the only one to kind of do it that way as well. Mr. Lucci, shout out to Mr. Lucci. He was just here, Pookie. Right. Um, uh, all them boys. You got man. them legends up in the oh, I have to have every, that's the way you build a foundation. You can't build a, you know, the house don't, that's built on the sand, it, it, it don't last. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to build on a good foundation and I believe those guys are patriotic and how could I come and uh, do something like this and not recognize where I'm at and what, what's going on around me. Right. You know, love the city, man. Love East Texas, man. And just trying to bring together what, what kind of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it's all about. So when, when you, what, what a little girl wanted to get into rap, uh, trying to figure out w- which way to go. She 15. Um, you know, what would you say to her to help her career? Baby, don't let nobody, like, discourage you. Like, no matter how many days you want to give up, no matter how many arguments and discussions you have with people about your life and about your rap career, if they don't believe you, do not give up. Don't give up. Seriously, because I done, had, I done shed so many tears just yeah. from just even arguing with mm-hmm. people because they, like, um, you ain't making no music. I mean, you ain't making no money off of it. Why? I mean, like, because I know my gift. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to stop because I can't even stop. Like, when exactly. I hear a beat, that's just what comes to go. my head. Already. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't yeah. nothing wrong with you doing it that way. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, um, I, I love what you do. Um, I, I just ask you to keep going. Is If it's anything that I can help you with, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for those beats and stuff like that. I got a guy redoing some beat, doing a beat for you right now, actually. Mm. Uh, he he been working with me. I told him to make a beat. I, I, I just like that... Uh, uh, Pop my pop my shit, and I was like, uh, make me some on that type of tempo, mm-hmm. you know, but different. And uh, he sent me something back, but it was too much like it, so I sent it back to him. So I'm working on that. Okay, I just just off the you. rip, you know, you just do stuff yeah. just because it's. What I was you gonna do. try to surprise you with you a theme song, but I couldn't get it hey, from you, the hey, you people. Be, hey, hey, hey! So just keep working on it. Send it to mm-hmm. me. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? If you mm-hmm. do something for the for the store for show or for. Unique Hustle and Boss Talk 101 is going down. Because that's what we do. We podcasting mm-hmm. in here like crazy. I think we're the hottest thing out three months. Look how we rocking. Ain't nobody doing it like that. Meaning we coming with that pressure. People like, please don't put the light on them. And we like, no, nigga. We here. <laughs> Scoot over, nigga. We here with you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And they like, damn, they, I can't stop. These niggas know too much. And, right. and I think it's just because God is the one to organize everything. Yeah. So when we start, and it come to, easily and naturally to y'all. Like, oh yeah, we've been doing this. Like know. I talk. I got kicked out of church for talking when I was four years old. I talk. That's what I do. You <laughs> not going to talk me, and that's just the way it is. And I already know that. That's my gift. Every yeah. nigga ever met and me it's said crazy that. Crazy because Trey's so quiet. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But he get that from his mama. He don't get that from me. You know what I'm saying? I already know that. You know that's that's where he get that from. Mm-hmm. So I, I get it. My daughter, she. My daughters talk. My my both of my sons. My son by my, my wife here. They don't talk much. Yeah, but they they just, but the girls, everything. the girls, they act like me, and and that's that way it is. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I don't care as long as they get money. They I, they can't stand and show them how to get money. So right, it's, they they better go get it because I gave them the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to all them dads for that's trying to do right and their moms just holding them down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. Thank We're about to break so it all man. the way down now. You see how smoothly it went into it? We love you. We wish you much success. We know that everything that you do, God going to bless it. So we ain't tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got any new projects and you want to bring them out and you want to come through and say, hey, E, I got something new that I want to drop. I want you to hear it first. Or if I want you want to send it to me mm-hmm. or if you want to come through and drop a project and, and tell beauty. people about it, I'm going to basically put you right back in that seat. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So that's how I go down and hear a man shoot Boss Talk 101 ain't playing no games. I mm-hmm. am working, supposedly working on an EP with Shane Dixon. Um, okay. Seco Peace mm-hmm. Manager. That's mm-hmm. what's up. I just, is, is that a guy? That's the dude you interviewing tomorrow. No, I'm talking about the no. guy. Shane Dixon, she's a woman. I talked to a guy that was his manager. He must got a road manager too. Probably. I actually it, talked it to Seco so P. because she be on the road with him a lot. Yeah, I talked okay. to Seco P uh, on, through Instagram. We just were going back and forth. Yeah, and shout out to her, too, because she's helping us with this second cypher. We put the first one together, but she's helping us with this That's, that's hot. That's hot. When I can't that's wait to hear come it. Out? 
When is it? Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I'm not. I'm not sure. We're waiting on the last two girls to record their. You already um, recorded yours. Yeah. You went in. Yeah. No, I went in. Already, man. I can't wait to hear it, man. Smash. You know, give me one more. Ver- Let me go one more time on this beat, man. Can you? Can you give me another? <laughs> you know I'm fly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want I, I want something to choose from. I'm kind of spoiled. Go, can you handle it? Can you handle it? You, 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 come, you come back however you want to come. Say, I don't care. Go, baby. Check it, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, man, let's go, man. Check it out, man. This party in the building, man. We're going to do this thing one more time, man. I'll let your boy so you need us. I love them pop my shit like a pimp. Already. Hey, run that shit up, Trace. Pussy pop it on the handstand if you the shit. I ain't never gave a fuck about a ratchet ass bitch. Say I'm all about my money and I'm all about my guala. If your money looking right, then hell yeah, I'm trying to holler. Yeah. Bet that ass up and can you do it on the dick and yeah. I ain't talking about it. Yeah. I want a chocolate ass bitch. Let's go. Say I'm rolling out my mind and if it's beef, then I ain't got time and I hit you with that nine and hey, you leaking from behind, bitch. Woo. Yeah, I do this. Slow it up, then screw this. Ask them hoes who the truth is. Miss 40 round straight ruthless. In the house, that's choosing. <laughs> yeah, up. man. Check it, man. That's what I'm hold talking up, about, baby, up. man. You want to break hey, that I'm thing? I'm getting money. I'm a high. Hey. I'm getting money. I'm a high. Top of these hate hoes. They can't stop me. I don't want to slow it. You going to pop it. Betty, yeah, just don't drop it. <laughs> yeah, man. Have fun oh, with I it, man. I didn't know you was going to cut Now, that's what it's out. all about, man. Just having fun with it. That's all. I just wanted yeah. something else to play with. So, man, it's going down. Thank you for coming on the show, man. You we welcome. love you, Miss Forty, man. I love y'all. For and sure. This won't be my last time seeing you. I just told you you can come back anytime you want I to. I know, but I'm saying we are truly family, so I would like to see y'all without the business sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Check it, man. It's a unique hustle, man. Boss Talk 101. And we out. Out.